Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to say a big congratulations to all of you all, Nigerians and some Asian countries, as you have been listed among the countries that are qualified for getting Google Gemini student offer for one year. All right, let's get started. Let me show you us the process of everything. The first thing we are going to do as usual is to sign in your email, a new email. So once you sign in, you are going to see this right here. You can see Nigeria. I am not using VPN. No use of VPN. It's totally free for Nigerians and other Asian countries. All right, so we are going to come over and verify our eligibility. So I will come over and click on verify eligibility to get this offer for good one year for 12 months without paying a dime. All right, guys, so this is so amazing. So if you're a Nigerian, this is an opportunity for you if you're a Nigerian student. So you come over, let's come over and look for our country, which is Nigeria. That is the country you're going to be going for. So if you are from other countries, maybe you are from Bangladesh, you are from uh, you are from uh, Canada, you are from US, you are from all these countries, you can select your country and use so, which means now you don't need VPN anymore to get this Google Gemini for 12 months right so now let's come over and look for nigeria because that's the one we are going to be using in this video all right so note look at it i did not turn on any vpn at all because i'm in nigeria so it's going to work for me so i come over and select nigeria and i come over and look for one school so let me look for a school right here let me search for taraba state university i want to always tell people is when you are looking for a school make sure you always picking school that does not have any city because you know you are not a student and you want to verify so you are going to look for a school that does not have city or a school that is not among the top universities in the country right so that's why i'm going for this school taraba state university so once you are done you come over and type in your first name and your last name and also your date of birth make sure the date of birth you are using is above it i love using first january 20, uh, 2000 all right so now when we are when we are done typing that let's come okay the year 2000 then for the email section make sure that you use email now let's try using an edu email and see if it's going to work but if edu email does not work we are going to use our personal email so once you use that then what you're going to come over next to do so you can discover that me putting this it's not allowing me to click on this verify student status right so what we are going to do is let's come over and turn and clear this email that i just typed in right here and type in my personal email so that helps and it's going to uh, show us that verification that is it will allow us to know you can see it right here as i just switched to that so the next thing we're going to do is before clicking on verify student status we need to get our id card ready before we click on verify student status so let's come over to this next session and let's paste in the prompt for the uh, uh the link for the id card generator i'm going to paste it in the box so that you can see it and use it for yourself all right so let me come over and let's hold on for it to load a little bit so after it loads, then we are going to continue and generate our our id card for free like guys this is so amazing so once you come over this is the interface you're going to get you just come over and click on continue don't worry i have this link already i'm going to paste it to the description for you to use and it's very easy and very simple all you just do is is already a ready-made template you just or you just come over and uh, put all what is needed all right so we are, we are needing we are going to need three things we'll use three things so number one thing is nigerian students with blue uh, nigerian students picture or image with blue background all right so we search that and come over and look for the best picture that fits for this id card so that it will not it will look so amazing so let's come over and let me turn, let me switch to image uh, option so once you come over and switch to image option let's go down let's scroll down and see the one we can use yeah right here so i'm going to keep scrolling let me keep scrolling before let's just see the one that will work properly and uh will work properly for this verification let's see let's go down let's go more and see which one is more perfect all right so i'm still looking for the one that will be more perfect for us to use so let's keep going let's keep going let's keep going all these ones I, I don't like them all right so i'll find one so this lady right here i think will be perfect so we'll come over and download this right and save it to our device number one thing then the number two thing is we need a college logo 
right? We need a college logo. The college logo that will be displaying on the ID card is very, very important. So now I'll come over and search for college logo. Now, when you search for this college logo, you can select any of your choice. So I'll come over and download anyone. So because it does not mean anything. So you can download any one of your choice. So let me save one and let me download this right to my device. So once I'm done with that, then the next thing is we need the last thing, which is principal signature. So I'll come over and search for principal signature, which is very, very important. So let me search for it. Principal signature. All right. So and also here yeah, also you can just select any any signature of your choice so then me i'm just going to come over and pick this one right here i'll download it as well and save it to my device now once i'm done downloading all these three things what i'm going to do next is to come back to the id card generator and impute everything and insert everything so once i insert everything i put all the information and make sure that the information you are putting tallies with exact uh, information on the share ID uh, verification uh, tab. So you come over here, upload everything, and let's see how it's been done. It's so easy and fast, so simple. So I've generated the ID card template already for you to make it more easier for you for usage. All right, so guys, this is so amazing, so beautiful. So if you are finding this video helpful and very educating please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on notification bell to always get amazing tips from me like this and note this video is for educational purpose like it's for educational purpose i'm not doing this for, for platform all right so please get that and know that so that you will not think i'm teaching you something that is um, using the platform so what you're going to do next is so let's come over and insert all the information. The same information you feel from the Share ID platform is the same information you're going to put right here. So our first name is David and the last name is Victor. So let's put that and make sure the class is 12. You set the class to 12 and the rule number, make sure you use any two digit number. You can use any two digit number of your choice. So let me use 65 right here. And don't forget the date of birth we use right there, which is first of january 2000 that's the same year that's the same date of birth we are going to use on the id card as well then the year make sure it is 2025 make sure it is 2025 then that has that then the address line that is the one or that will be in bottom of the picture of the id card make sure it's the same school name so the phone uh, mobile phone aspect you can leave that put any 11 digit of your choice then you come over and download the card straight to your device so once you are done and downloading the card you just come over to back to your uh, verification tab then you click on make sure that the info tally together with the id card then what you are going to do next is to click on verify student status all right when you click on verify student status you are going to hold on and then you add the document once you add the document that is the id card you just generated you add the card that is you are let's click on add document once you click on add document it's going to show us where we are going to pick our id card you click on it and then you upload it right here so once you upload it then you click on submit then in a few seconds it will uh, give us a little countdown to show us that we have been verified so boom you see you have been successfully verified so now what we are going to do next is to click on get students uh, or and get student offer so you come over and click on agree when you click on agree you are going to come over and put in your card details so at least this is where people used to get stuck once you get this that once you get to the stage of adding your card you have you don't have any issue anymore so you can do that for security's sake i won't be adding any card live here so that to save my own so all right so if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell and don't forget this is david creative lab see you in the next video